Um, our hearts are a little broken. We were um, driving down the mountain from Mount Rushmore and we took our car off because we knew that it was a little hard to get up the mountain and we wanted to take the load off of the RV on the way down. So I was driving behind Ryan and um, he said the power steering went out and the engine turned off and he pulled into this spot. Now it won't start up again. So this has been just unbelievably difficult. And our hearts are a little broken. We have no idea what we're gonna do. No clue. Well, we didn't make it down the mountain. I was driving, we even unhooked the car so Megan could drive that down so we had a little less weight. And I was in a lower gear, and but there's some pretty steep grades coming off Mount Rushmore. And everything seemed okay and then all of a sudden the engine turned off and then I lost my power steering. Thankfully, we were at a point where it, I was going slow enough I could pull the emergency brake and then pull over to we're kind of in like a little mountain town parking lot. It's just this trip has not went well. It's been really disappointing. You know we've had all these high hopes for travel therapy and RV life and we knew there was risk involved buying a used RV, but maybe we made a mistake. I just don't know. We don't know if we want to continue. Don't know if we want to continue in this RV. I don't know if we can make it to Montana, because we still have to go through mountains there. There's just a lot of unknowns and we've been living with unknowns for the past couple months it just sucks it just really sucks we called a called our insurance and so they're going to send a tow person um, he should be getting here hopefully soon to tow our big RV back to a place where we found um, that can work on RV. It's a Friday right now. They're not open on the weekend, so they won't be able to look at it till Monday. See what's going on. Currently, I can. It tries to start, but it won't start up. Just, it's just been really scary and just been disappointing, and we feel just so defeated. I don't, I might get a loss of words. Just how upset I am. So, I guess the plan is to at least get this towed back. That's all we know right now. <laughs> and then, yeah, find out what's wrong and then we'll decide from there. I don't even know if we're going to be able to stay in here at the tow place or if we're going to have to find a hotel or something. Unfortunately, like, it's cost us quite a bit of money to get out here already. And we've Just put on so, gas. And... Yeah, gas, and we've put so much work into this RV to just have it not work anymore. Yeah. Just we feel like failures. So, and we have the tow dolly from U-Haul we rented to tow our car so we could ride together. It's due Sunday, so we got to get it back somehow. But the tow company is going to charge us. Like 250 bucks to do that. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to rent rent a little truck from U-Haul and then tow the tow dolly without the car back. It's just been a mess. This whole trip. We've had 
two breakdowns now. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. Where our jobs are, it's a very small town, so there's not even, like, apartments there to stay in. So, I mean, we're almost thinking if the RV could get repaired for not a crazy amount. It's a little scary to even attempt more mountains, which means we have to find a place to live in Plains, Montana, which is where we were going. But it's so small, there's not many options there, so it's just a lot of questions. We don't know if we'll be able to find something there. We don't know, like, if we can't get there with the RV and there's no housing, then what do you do? Do we have to find whole new jobs? It's just felt like everything's against us this trip. Yeah, it's it's really upsetting. I'll try to keep you updated. When we went up to see Mount Rushmore, we probably should have just left the RV down and taken our commuter vehicle up, and that was my mistake. But thankfully, when I was coming down and when the engine kicked off and we broke down, I lost power steering, so it was really hard to steer the rig, but luckily we were kind of going on this flat that you can see behind me. It's still a downhill, but it, not as much of a downhill as I was going on. And I was able to at least pull over. There was this little mountain town and this parking lot, and I was thankfully we broke down there because I, I wouldn't have been able to stop the RV and it just scares me to think of what could have happened. Oh. <laughs> fine! <laughs> Doing great. Uh, I'm having fun! Okay, good squatting mechanics. As you can see, we are in a hotel room uh, in Rapid City. Last <laughs> night was crazy, so the tow truck got there, was pretty well hooked up. I mean, had the front tires of the RV up, and then um, said, okay, well, I'll finish up and we'll get this towed to our place. So we went ahead. We had to return our U-Haul. We actually rented a tow dolly. And since we didn't have the RV, we had no tow vehicle to get it back to U-Haul. And so what we had to do is go to U-Haul and to, uh, rent a truck so we could tow it back. Mm -hmm. So we went to do that, and then next thing you know, the tow guy called us and said, Oh, by the way, I can't tow you because there's some emergency brake um, that was latched onto the drive shaft, which I guess he has to remove. We're not really sure. We're not mechanics, obviously. Um, he has to remove to be able to tow, and so he was unable to tow our RV. So it is still stuck up on the mountain at Peggy's place. Luckily, Peggy's place is close for the season. Um, and so that was just really disheartening. The whole turning in, returning process to U-Haul was disheartening and horrible. <laughs> um you're we, supposed to be able to return everything after hours with an easy, like, link that says I'm turning it in here, and, like, that wasn't working. So we got it to work for the truck, but it didn't work for the tow dolly, which meant we just left the tow dolly hooked up to the truck unreturned, and then we were freaking out that we're going to get charged for, I don't know, leaving it or them thinking we never yeah. returned it. So I went back to U-Haul this morning to make sure that was all squared away. And thankfully it was. But it was like one thing after the other. Nothing was like working how it was supposed to or easy. Um, <clears throat> so 
Hopefully today's better. <laughs> yeah, really. So what what's already happened today is uh, Megan's grandparents actually had a friend that had some automotive work here in Rapid City um, at uh, Wicked Wrenches. And so he actually personally called over to the place and kind of told them what has happened to us um, with this whole breakdown. And then I called this morning and the owner there, Chris, called us back. Seems like a really nice guy and uh, was very willing to help us out. So he gave us the number of his tow company um, or a tow company that he works with. And we got in contact with them and they're actually heading out there now. Um, they have some different strategies on how to tow um, or at least we'll be able to relay what's kind of going on to Chris, the mechanic. And hopefully we can get a fix. And so we are currently cleaning up here at the hotel to head back up the mountain. Mm -hmm um another time to our rv and then hopefully they can tow it to wicked wrenches but that's our update so far and uh guess what's left is to go up the mountain fifth time <laughs> Second tow company. <laughs> they seem really nice. <laughs> the second tow company came, Olson's Towing. Um, they seem pretty confident and thinks he knows what's locking up. It's a safety transmission lock with us being on incline. Um, so he seems pretty confident that he, he will be able to tow us. So he's here and makes us feel a little better, I guess. He's got a huge truck, which is awesome. Yeah. I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> I'd like to have a truck that big to do these mountains. Right. <laughs> big. Um, it looks like it can hopefully get us to Wicked Wrenches, the repair shop. to roll out so let's see this big tow truck take this thing down the mountain As we've been broken down in this parking lot yesterday we met um, a really nice lady uh, named Jalay and um, just as our RV was getting towed away today she was walking back up the street and she stopped and talked to us and was really a blessing and turns out she's a trap was a travel nurse and ended up here in South Dakota. And what her heart is geared towards and centered on really aligns with ours. And part of what travel therapy for us is also to um, reach the people in the town that we end up at and share the gospel with them and love on them. And um, She's basically doing that exact same thing here in South Dakota, and we just feel so encouraged to have met her and blessed by um, that interaction, and we'll be praying for her and the work that she's doing, and um, right. it's, it's a reminder that the devil might be working against you, but God is always with us and he's always going to take care of his children um yeah we're we end up <laughs> breaking down <laughs> um that's kind of crazy uh we ended up breaking down just below um <laughs> Um, just below a ministry center that was built to um, train people up in order to bring the gospel to 
um, people groups who have never heard about it, whether that's abroad or whether it's here. And we actually saw the building and we looked it up and learned a little bit about it before uh, she came and talked to us. And she's from that building and they just finished um, a training yesterday. Um, so we just feel amazed and blessed. So as of right now, it's the mechanic has looked at it and it's looking like maybe an electrical issue because we're not getting any sparking from our spark plugs. Um, he said it might be a quick fix. We might be on the road in 20 minutes, which is kind of crazy. And um, we're also going to have him look at our brakes while we're here before we tackle any more mountains. But um, we'll have to see if he can get that part in. Um, but that is at least some good news. First good news that we've heard in a long time. So we'll see how that goes. So it's looking like it was just an electrical issue. It's just at the mechanic place right now. Um, they're waiting on that part to get over there. Um, they decided we're just gonna do a whole brand new part, swap it entirely out. It looked all, he showed me, it looked all uh, like it had burnt out, just got too hot, it was loose and it shouldn't be loose. And so they're gonna replace that and Right now it's way past lunchtime, so me and Megan are gonna walk in this really actually cute town of Rapid City. Um, there's lots of cute little shops around, maybe you can see, um, and get something to eat for lunch while we wait on them to repair it. So this is a little nugget we found in the city called Art Alley. and. Um, you are allowed to graffiti in here by permit only, but it's really cool to see what other people have, have made in here. I think we're gonna go try out this Firehouse Brewery. Yeah. They have a brewery, they have a winery. Oh, they definitely yeah. have food here. Um, they have a lot of food. A lot of yummy food. Yum, 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 yum. The owner and mechanic here at Wicked Wrenches, Chris, um, went ahead and looked at the RV, saw that, you know, hey, it might just be an electrical issue, and got the part in today. I mean, the tow took us here, we probably arrived. Maybe like mm. about one o'clock, two o'clock, one or two o'clock. I mean, Chris had the part and I mean, it's it's about five o'clock right now and their shop closes at four. And so the fact that he was willing to work a little bit of overtime for us is amazing. But got in today, this afternoon, and now <laughs> got <making>. out. <laughs> <laughs> it was an electrical issue. And that was it. That was the problem. And so he replaced that and then checked out other stuff in our engine and it seemed fine and it starts up. <laughs> our, my mind is kind of blown. And it was just another blessing to have um, a company with a Christian owner who was willing to work on it for us, get us in and and not charge us an arm and leg. Like he didn't take advantage of us, which we were scared of. You know, you're always scared of that with any mechanic place. And um, especially when you're in a town that you're not familiar with and and he didn't do that. He showed us what it costs to have the part and repair. And mm -hmm. just, we're so, so thankful. So if you're in Rapid City, South Dakota, go to Wicked Wrenches. <laughs> yes, go to Wicked Wrenches. I'll put their information down in the description and um, I'll try to get it up on the screen somewhere. Uh, but yeah, definitely any automotive RV needs engine wise, like go go to them. They're, they've been so great to us. So now we're going to go to a KOA campground for 30 bucks tonight and 
Yep, here in Rapid City. Yep, here in Rapid City, and then we're going to go to church tomorrow with our mechanic. <laughs> um, and get the RV cleaned up a little bit and prepare ourselves for the rest of our travel. Yeah, the next leg of our journey. As always, you know, if you like our videos, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, um, leave a comment. We love reading your comments and then getting to reply back to you guys and engaging. And so we hope you've enjoyed this. And until next time, see, see ya. See ya. See ya.